What's going on everybody? Okay, so uh, today I'm gonna be doing a little uh, little repair on the bus. Um, I've got a part I gotta replace, so I'm normally not gonna be doing repair videos. Uh, that's kind of not what this channel's for. Um, so, and I just don't really like doing repair videos. But uh, I figured I wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. One, um, I haven't seen a whole, the part I'm gonna show you and be replacing, um, if you haven't noticed already. Uh, I haven't really didn't find any videos on it and I also didn't have a lot of information couldn't find a lot of information on uh, Finding the part and I was able to find it. So I figured I'd make a little video on this repair uh, Like I said, I don't like doing repair videos. You're not really gonna see any repair videos coming from me um, When it comes to repairs, I kind of just like to get in and just do them uh, So anyway, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be uh, what I'm gonna be repairing and replacing right now So if you guys notice um, if you haven't seen it already, uh, I've got a nice uh, leak going on here in my front wheel. So what it is, is my front hub seal is leaking. It's worn, it's it's just rotted out and gotten old. So I'm gonna go ahead and be replacing the uh, the front hub seal and housing today. All right guys, so this is the part, this is the uh, the hub the hub uh, seal housing I'm gonna be replacing replacing today. Um, like I said, one, part of, one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video was uh, it took me a while to find this part and I uh, couldn't really find a whole lot of videos that were done on this. So um, anyway, I'm gonna kind of make it easy for you. I found um, this hub seat now given this part is, my bus is a 2008 Thomas. Um, I don't know what your bus it will be. If you're, this is something you're looking for, it could be different for your bus. They're, they're kind of different. Um, I got, I lucked out and I was able to just look up my specs on my bus and I found that this is the right part and it, it is. So I found this from a company out in Los Angeles, California. Um, it's called finditparts.com. Uh, I'll put the uh, I'll put the web address down here on the bottom. Uh, they sent me the the housing, the, the new seal, and all new bolts for it. So um, it actually made it really nice. They shipped it out to me pretty quick. So this job actually isn't going to be too bad. I think I'm probably actually going to spend more time getting this all cleaned up than actually replacing this part. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So what I did um, before I uh, started filming is I actually, because I don't know if this has ever been replaced or if these bolts have ever been uh, loosened on this bus, I just don't know. Um, so what I did was I went through with some uh, penetrating oil a little while ago and I sprayed all the bolts. So, and I, that was, I let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so they should be ready to go. I have gone through and I have loosened them. So. Uh, they are uh, they're gonna come out fairly easy So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get down to unbolting these right now And then we'll see what it looks like inside because I imagine I'm gonna have to get some cleaning up done in here to get the old gasket out So let's go ahead and get this unbolted now All right, guys, I had to step off and go run and grab some gloves real quick. So I uh, dealing with uh, with gear oil and axle uh, axle grease gear oil. It's very messy, so uh, you're definitely gonna want to wear some gloves for this. So I also had to also had to go grab my pry bar because this obviously hasn't been off in a very long time, if ever. So I'm gonna have to pry it out. Um, don't know exactly what's gonna happen when I pry this open. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just be kind of careful with it, and we'll we'll go on from there. All right, so it's not coming off very easy. So I went and grabbed my mallet. I'm gonna give it a couple taps, see maybe that'll loosen it up a little bit. Still got the pry bars, so uh, we'll see if, uh, if I can get this off. There we go. That seems like it loosened it up, guys. I think it's gonna come off. Yeah, and we're gonna lose a whole lot of axle grease right now. So uh, what I'm gonna actually do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my, uh, my oil drain pan and I'm gonna stick it under here because we're obviously gonna lose quite a bit of oil out of this. So I'm gonna go grab that now. All right guys, so that's it. Didn't lose as much oil. Uh, didn't a uh, whole lot of oil that didn't come out that I thought was going to. So um, anyway, old seal is off or old housing is off. Uh, most of the gasket came out with it. I can actually see um, so it actually, it's been taken off before, 
Um, I can tell because whoever replaced it never replaced it with a the right gasket. They just went with this rubber sealant in here, which is absolutely horrible. Um, I mean, you can do it, but you really shouldn't be replacing parts like this with uh, with just rubber sealant. So anyway, that's out. Um, I got to get this all cleaned up. I'll show it to you guys in a second. So you can see it's kind of a mess. Uh, I'm going to have to scrape all this old uh, rubber gasket off. So I'll show it to you guys right now. Okay, so if you guys can see... Um, so I got to get all this uh, this old rubber sealant off. Uh, I need to come through here and clean all this up. Uh, get this surface um, cleaned up and ready for the new gasket. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get it cleaned up in here. It's going to continue to leak oil. So that's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. But I'll deal with it. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And then uh, I'll be back and I'll show it to you when it's all cleaned up. Alright guys, so here we go. Um, I've got the surface all cleaned up. Um, with my, I just went in with a scraper and some Scotch Brite and some uh, some parts cleaner, and I just came in here. I was definitely careful. You you want to uh, you don't want to be getting parts cleaner or anything to strip the uh, lubricant out of the wheel bearing here. So I was very careful not to get anything in there. Um, so I went completely around. Um, this it's obviously still leaking out of the bottom here. It's gonna do that. Um, that's from uh, just from the axle grease is coming out, so that that won't be a problem. But um, so I was very, like I said, very careful not to get any of the uh, cleaner, anything into the wheel bearing. Uh, you can see though that the uh, the surface is cleaned. I got all the rubber off of it. There were some remnants of the old gasket in here. So um, whoever replaced this before, uh, it wasn't completely done properly. They didn't remove all the old gasket and just using that rubber sealant in here, just it's just no good. Uh, but either way, uh, it's done. I've got it cleaned up. So. Uh, it's going to be done properly now. I'm going to go ahead and get the new gasket in, get the new housing on, and then we're going to bolt everything down. All right, guys, so we got the new uh, the new gasket and the new housing is ready to go on. Uh, they did send me new bolts for the housing as well. I am going to be using the new bolts uh, just because the old bolts, I mean, they're fine, but uh, just being as old as they are, I figured I got the new bolts, might as well use them. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this put in. I'm going to start with the top bolt and then work my day way down, and then we're going to go ahead and torque everything down. So one thing I want to make note of, guys, is that I'm using my uh, my impact drill, uh, but what I'm doing is I'm just uh, just getting these in just to where they stop. Uh, I'm not torquing these down yet because they need to be torqued down in a pattern. Um, so like I said, I'm just doing just using my uh, impact drill right now. It's just making it go faster, getting these bolts in, than doing it by by hand. So um, like I said, these are not uh, these are not torqued down yet. Uh, I'm just doing this just to get them in. So now that I got those in, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Um, it's kind of the same concept as when you're uh, when you're putting on like a tire or a wheel. Uh, you want to go in a pattern. So basically, with uh, with this being uh, six bolts, you're gonna treat it like a six lug pattern. So you're gonna go in a star pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with my impact drill uh, right now, and then I'm gonna come back through, and then I'll actually torque them down to spec. All right, guys, so those are all tightened down. Um, I've kind of cleaned it up, and I've kind of been watching to see if the new gasket's set right. Um, watching the bottom here to see if it leaks at all. And so far, I haven't noticed anything. It's been sitting for a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and torque these down. Um, factory calls for 12 to 16 pounds, uh, foot-pounds of torque. Uh, which I'm going to go ahead just given the size of the bus and, and you know what kind of vehicle it is I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the the full 16 foot pounds of torque on these Same thing you're going to want to go in the star pattern as if it's a six, six lug uh, wheel So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all that get these all torqued down now And then we're going to move on to filling it with fluid and I'll show you all that and uh, we'll go ahead and call this job done All right, guys. So uh, those are all torqued down. Uh, so now I'm going to pull. I'm going to grab the camera real quick, and I need to. I want to show you this next part. With this new, um, this new uh, hub seal housing, um, it has this little sight glass window on it. Uh, let me show you the original one. So the original one, um, it's just very old, so it's kind of covered up. But they have these little, uh, these little. Uh, so the front of the the hub seal housing is clear, so you can actually see the fluid that's inside of the hub, and it gives you a um a minimum and, and maximum oil fill range 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, all you want to do is we're going to fill this up to the, uh, the maximum line and then we're actually going to let it sit for, I'm going to let it sit for maybe about an hour or two, uh, maybe less. And, um, that way it can allow the fluid, the new fluid to actually run inside the axle and get everywhere it needs to go. And then we'll come back and check this fluid and we'll check for any leaks. I'm going to get the tire, the tire and the wheel, cause you definitely don't want this on the tire. So I'm going to get the tire and wheel all cleaned up and then, uh, We'll come back and check it. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to fill this with fluid right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this, uh, get some, get some new uh, gear oil in here. So what I'm using is you just use a basic, uh, just basic gear lubricant. 80, 90 weight is what's recommended for, uh, for, for the bus. So um, one thing I want to make note of, and that everybody should make note of, is that. Um, so normally, what easier way to do this would be to have a pump that you stick into this jug and you run the tube into the fill. The fill hole is on top of this. Uh, this uh, housing here, you would want to have a pump that hooks up to the jug and you run the, the tube in here and you just pump it and you watch your fluid. Fortunately, I don't have one of those, so I have to do this the old fashioned way with just a funnel. Um, one thing you need to make note of and I want to make note of is that if you're going to be filling it this way, keep in mind, this is your hub. This is your wheel bearing. This is everything is in here. So make sure that whatever funnel you use is completely cleaned out. You don't want any debris of any kind getting into uh, um, getting in there because that is your wheel bearing and one thing you don't want your want happening is you don't want your wheel bearing getting destroyed or seized up by any debris that might come out of your funnel um, so I've gone through and I've cleaned my funnel out very well very thoroughly I've cleaned the tube everything so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get down to uh, filling this up right now and then like I said we're gonna fill it uh, I'm gonna get it to the max fill line and then we'll go ahead and let it sit for a while so that fluid can run in and get everywhere it needs to go inside the um, inside the axle and inside the hub and then we will go ahead and uh, check it again fill it and then this job will be done all right guys so i've got the uh i've got the fluid up to the uh the max level line uh like i said we need to let it sit for a little while to make sure um to let give that fluid a chance to run inside the hub and and fill everywhere it needs to go um so like i said right now it's sitting right at the max level um, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. I'm going to let it sit and in the process of letting it sit I'm going to get the wheel and the tire all cleaned up. So uh, when we come back here um, I'll basically be showing uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to film me checking the level I mean you guys get checking uh, fluid levels and everything. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit get this wheel cleaned up uh, get everything all cleaned up and then when I come back we'll be all show it to you all done. So all right guys so the uh the hub seal and new housing is officially done on the bus. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Got everything cleaned up, uh, waited a while, let the fluid kind of flow in and retopped it. Uh, it's right, right at the level where it needs to be and it's all finished. I'm going to show it to you real quick and then we can go ahead and uh, end this video. New housing and seal is in. Everything is torqued down. If you guys can see, the fluid is exactly, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the fluid is exactly where it needs to be. Um, everything's cleaned up. It's all finished. Anyway, guys, um, I hope maybe this video helped you out. Like I said, uh, I want—I don't do repair videos. I'm not going to be doing repair videos. Uh, this was just something I wanted to do because I noticed there's really not a lot of videos or info on doing these online. It's actually a pretty simple job. Uh, mainly finding the part was kind of a pain, but like I said, uh, finditparts.com. Uh, they had the part, and I, I like I said, I'll, I'll post the link again or the website down here again. Um, find it parts out in uh, LA, Los Angeles, California. They deal directly through Freightliner, which if you guys don't know what Freightliner is, Freightliner is the company that actually deals with making a lot of the components for stuff like buses and semis, uh, and even some of your higher end uh, diesel pusher uh, motorhomes. So um, that was nice. So it, this is actually a part that is manufactured by Freightliner. So it's actually a very good quality part. It's, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a simple part. So. Anyway, guys, like I said, um, I hope this maybe this video helped you out. Um, if uh, and you know, I thank you for sticking around for it. So, like I said, I won't really be doing a lot of repair videos, if any at all. Um, so, with this being done, I can now get back onto other stuff I got to do with the bus. So, uh, anyway, guys, thank you for all your support. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.